In this video, I'll show you how to transfer your photos and videos from your iPad Air to your Mac computer. This can be an iMac, a MacBook like this one, or a Mac Pro, whatever. So let's get started. The good news is that you don't need any cable. To do so, all you need to do is to go over here on your iPad and swipe down from the right corner. You're going to see this AirDrop icon over here. Keep it pressed and then keep it pressed again, this top right corner, and make sure that everyone is selected here. Now put this aside, and on your Mac, you're gonna go up here, over this icon, click on it, go down where you see AirDrop over here, click, and make sure that everyone is selected here as well. And before starting, make sure that Bluetooth is enabled, it's turned on, on your Mac computer. Same thing on your iPad, make sure that Bluetooth is turned on. Great, now we can start. Take your iPad and go in your photos. Here you're going to see all the photos and videos that you have on your iPad that you took with it, that are on the internal memory. And you're going to press the select button on the top right corner. Now all you have to do is to select which pictures and photo you want to transfer on your Mac. You can even select many by just swiping this way. And once you're done, you're going to tap this small icon over here. And you're going to see AirDrop. Make sure that your Mac computer is turned on. Tap on AirDrop, and you should see your Mac computer in this list. I have two of them. This is my MacBook, so I will tap on MacBook Air here. And since the MacBook is mine and is under the same Apple ID, the picture, once I tap on it, it will be transferred automatically. But let's say this computer is not yours or it's not logged on the same Apple ID, you're going to have to confirm, you're going to have a screen here telling you to confirm if you want to receive those pictures on your computer. You just need to click OK and you are done. Once you're finished, you just click the Done button. On this MacBook, all the pictures went into the Download folder. And as you can see, if I open one of them, these are the same pictures that were on my iPad. Depending how big are your files or videos, it may take a few seconds or a few minutes to transfer because it's transferring over Bluetooth. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. Please leave a like, a comment, and I will see you in the next one.